Now, when I was younger, I definitely did not appreciate the lyrical brilliance of this song. The way it addresses the murder of Dimebag Daryl from three different perspectives. First, M. Shadows takes the perspective of the killer. The killer says that Dimebag took away the only thing I loved, i.e. the breakup of Pantera. And then that line, all your power crumbles in my arms. Think about that line for a second. That conjures up imagery of an embrace in my arms. Now, this killing was done by someone who in his head loved Dimebag love Pantera, so much so that their breakup helped drive them insane. When you think about it, it's kind of like a jealous husband killing their wife. It's this weird mix of, of love and violence. Then second, you get M. Shadows' more personal perspective as just an angry and hurt fan in the aftermath of the tragedy. He just lashes out at the dead killer with kind of this bitter sarcasm. He says, he must mean everything to end it all this shameful way. Again, playing off sort of that idea of love and hatred being so weirdly close. He must mean everything to you that you had to kill him. And then of course, the part that just makes me tear up every time is that this whole stanza that comes directly from Dimebag's perspective. I'll just read it off. Just did it for the love and people healed through us. Don't live your life in vain. Don't take it out on me. You're cracked, so just remember I'm not your enemy. I don't deserve to fall this way by a man who felt betrayed. And those words are just sung with so much pain. It gives me chills even just talking about it, let alone listening to the actual song. And again, I, I just didn't appreciate this as much when I was a kid, but I, I think just as you age, lyrical, lyrical themes about mortality and death just become more and more intense to you and more and more impactful.